Welcome to a second example on how to use the Desmos grapher at desmos.com to determine the relative or local extrema of a cubic function. The function f of x equals 2x cubed minus 36x squared plus 192x plus 8 has one local minimum and one local maximum. We're asked to use a graph of the function to estimate the local extrema and notice how we're asked to determine the location of the local max and min, as well as the local max and min value. So to graph the given function, we'll go to desmos.com and click Launch Calculator. From here, let's change to projector mode to make it easier to view the graph. So we'll click on the graph settings by clicking on the wrench and click projector mode. Notice below is where we can adjust the x and y axes manually. Let's exit the settings by clicking on the wrench or just clicking on the coordinate plane. And now we're going to go to the far left to box number one and enter the function. So we'll enter y equals, and then for 2x cubed, we'll enter 2x, and then shift 6 puts the cursor in the exponent position. And now we enter 3. To exit the exponent, we press the right arrow, and then minus 36x squared. To enter x squared, we press x, shift, 6, 2, right arrow, and then we have plus 192x plus 8. The function is now graphed on the given window, but it's obvious we need to adjust the window. We can do this two ways. We can click on the graph settings and adjust the axes manually, or we can use the plus and minus sign here to zoom in or zoom out. Let's zoom out first, and then we'll come back and adjust the axes manually. So let's exit the settings by clicking on the wrench or just clicking on the coordinate plane. And let's click minus to zoom out. So zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, and we'll continue zooming out. And notice now we can see it looks like right in this region here the graph is turning, and therefore we should be able to determine the local maximum and local minimum if we zoom in on this region. To do this, we will now adjust the axes manually. So let's change the x minimum to let's say negative 20 and the x maximum to let's say 40. Again, these are just approximations. Let's change the y minimum to let's say 200 and the y maximum to 400. So we'll click on the wrench and we'll click on the y minimum here, change this to negative 20. When we do this, notice how the graph automatically adjusts. And now we'll change the x maximum to 40. Now if we didn't like this interval, we could change it. And again, it would automatically show. Let's go ahead and change the x min to, let's say, negative 5. And the x max to, let's say, 15. So it's nice that we can actually see the graph while we adjust the window at the same time. Notice now, looking at the graph, we can see a high point and a low point, but let's adjust the scaling on the y-axis to get a better view. Let's change the y minimum to 200 and the y maximum to 400. So we'll change the y min to 200, the y max to 400. And notice now we have a very nice view of the graph to determine the local maximum and local minimum. If we wanted to, we can continue adjusting the window for example, we could change the y min to, let's say, 225, and the y maximum to, let's say, 350. Let's go ahead and use this window. So we'll exit the settings. And now the great thing about Desmos is if we go back and click on the equation, the nice thing about Desmos is now the high point and low point are graphed in gray. And as long as we've clicked on the equation of the function, if we now scroll over those points, it's going to give us the coordinates of those points. 
So if we scroll down to this low point, notice how the coordinates are 8, 264, which means we have a local minimum at x equals 8, and the local minimum value is the y value or function value of 264. And if we scroll over the high point, we have a local maximum at x equals 4. The local maximum value or function value is the y coordinate of 328. Let's go back and record this information. Again, we now know the function has a local minimum at x equals 8, and the local minimum value or output value is 264. The function has a local max at x equals 4, and the local maximum value is 328. So going back to the graph just for a moment, remember the location of the local extrema is the x-coordinate, and the local maximum value is the y-coordinate. I hope you found this helpful.